glimmer of an idea of what it must be like for Vaishnavas of that caliber to uh, to share the preaching mood together and to share the Krishna consciousness together on such levels. And I kind of feel like when, when Srila Prabhupada left us, most of us were pretty much like orphans. We were just little tiny babies in Krishna consciousness. And of course, he had injected so much love and faith in us, we had not even barely a glimmer of what it meant to practice bhakti or what this path might take us to. And then he just left us and we were pretty um, floundering. And so it took some time, like Sri Gurudev said a couple of days ago, before he, the time was just right for him to pick up that baton and carry it back here again and help those of us who are still valiantly trying to please our spiritual master and someday become Krishna conscious. So that's happening slowly but surely and quickly for some. And the mercy is, is here again. So I feel that um, Srila Prabhupada's connection, even just right here in San Diego, where he used to come here to the city, and the joy and the, the ecstatic Krishna consciousness that was going on, what was it, 30 years ago? 25 years to 30 years ago, when most of us were the same age as some of our children are now. And, uh, but it's very enlightening to see that that's, that Krishna consciousness is going on it's so much enthusiastic. I feel Srila Prabhupada's presence here so much, especially through the mercy of Srila Prabhupada. Yeah.
Kami marah dan berusaha.
Govinda Gopa like this. Supreme names of Supreme Lord with melting hearts, tears in the eyes, hairs in like men and Galatas. Oh, this is called Sadhana. This is of what? Anabila Sitana. This is true. That is, this is prima. How we will exercise it? How we end the power? Satan Prasangam Vidya Sankhita. Satan Prasangam Mama Vidya Sankhita. Pamantarita Karnar Sajana. Tajyosanatvasuvapabhartvabhartmani Shraddharati Bhakti Yanukramishyati If you are sharing sweet past and powerful past tense of Krishna, Krishna being Supreme Lord and Mother of Jasoda Gopi, and he is binding Krishna and Krishna is weeping, looking very beautiful in weeping and naked also. And he is weeping, fearing her mother and mother is chastising. Oh, you are very naughty boy, very naughty boy. Who can tell Supreme Lord, naughty boy? And she binded Krishna all our appellants. Where it went? Uttana couldn't get rid of this small boy of six days. He had power of so many thousands of elephants but could not get rid of it. And just with the earth sit down. Only that too. And he forget he is all supremacy and everything. So she had all ashrams. Gyani prayasam dupasya namanteva. Jivante sanmu karitam pravadiyavatam sthani. Hearing these sweet past times, first Swamiji came and told them, this is Supreme Lord and of God. Now by his order I have come now and I am telling what? Try to forget Krishna Supreme Lord. <laughs> If he would be here, he would have also told the same thing. No. So try to forget Krishna on that Supreme Lord. Supreme Lord never weeps for makkhan and roti, chapati. No? He never tells lie. But he always tells lie. He has so, he is so much greedy like monkeys <laughs> and playing with monkeys. No? In the moment he can oh, be angry. Oh, from the first he comes in. So hearing these sweet past times like this, giving up the empowering. that Krishna Supreme Lord giving up all this thing. Or doing pranam to Harikatha, the speaker, to audience who are hearing, organizer like one and then others, are hearing like you all. And 
to the place or oh, today where we are sitting and hearing katha guru binda so then pranam to all and thus engaging is yes mind and heart in hari katha then shabda and then sadhakti and prema bhakti ka satang prasangam vidya sambhavo bhavan terit karana rasayana tatha tajyoksmat aapsu apavartu vatmani shabda rati and first is sadhanga second is bhava bhakti and third is comes surely tatkhana i told you so <coughs> if you are practicing that oh this is all sadhan but shri bhakti no thakur in his bhajan has it has not translated into english very soon it will come very soon it will come in english in hindi we have done so he has divided this sadhan into eight parts how a day 24 hours can be divided into eight parts in day three parts morning midday evening after and in night three part before that pradosh pradosh means dawn some some darkness coming and then midnight and last and then to morning and and dawn these eight parts so bhajan is also like that it can be divided into eight parts what nishant bhajan that is shabda what is shabda what is shabda what is shabda where is the speaker Shula Krishna's Karata Swami has a fine shala as follows. Shala Shakti Vishwas Kahe Suri Dhanus Join Krishna Bhakti Kalesava Kama Krita Hoi That one who has a very firm and unflinching determination that just by engaging in devotional service then I have no other duty to that by performing devotional service that this is in my very best interest so what is shraddha it's explained ramanda brahmate kon bhagavanji guru krishna prasad by bhakti lata beach that one is traveling traversing in this material world for thousands and thousands of lives in different bodies and different ah, universes can you can you hear me yeah yeah oh they traveling through different universes and different species of lives and one who is fortunate he received um, by mercy of guru then there's the bhakti lata beach the sea of devotion so this sea of devotion this is shraddha it has the internal aspect and external this bhakti lata beach 
The external is Shraddha, this faith that we've described, Shraddha Shakti Vishwaskarma Sudhidana's joy. And the internal is Krishna Seva Vashna. So, this Krishna Seva Vashna means the desire to serve Krishna. And this is inherent within the heart of all living entities. Shulip Krishna's Kavaraj Goswami has also explained, Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadhu Kavunayam Shravanadi Shudhichite Koroin Udoy That this um, Krishna Prem, that it is inherent within all living entities. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadhu Kavunayam Shudhichite Koroin Udoy That how is it awoken? It is awoken by the process of hearing and chanting, just as Buddha has explained, Satam Prasakam Mama Vya Sambhido, that one who comes in contact with bona fide Sadhguru, that he is speaking very sweet Harikatam, but it is not just words, but Shabda Brahma, transcendental sound. Such Sadhguru, he is empowered with Surup Shakti, and when that Surup Shakti emanating from his heart, comes from his lips and manifests in the form of transcendental sound, Shabda Brahman. Then it enters into the ear and into the heart of that devotee who is listening um, attentively in a submissive manner. And in this way, there is a um, awakening of that dormant love of God which is within the heart. This process is the transmission of Swarup Shakti which um, awakens this shraddha, shraddha, which is within the heart of the devotee. So it is not that Sadhguru is giving shraddha, but rather he is awakening that which is already there. Param Guru Dev, he gives the example. Without mercy of Sadhguru, then there is no question of this shraddha, which is dominant within the heart of the living entity being the book. So the example is given that at the Parampurde Shila Bhakti, Nitalila, Vishnu, Vishnu, Padas, Totara, Satishishma, Shila Bhakti, Gyan, Keshe, Kusumaraj. He gives the example that if one goes on the bank of the Ganges and plants many different types of seeds, mango seed, guava seed, neem seed, uh, orange, and then you bring water and then you water these seeds. Then in due course of time, with water, with sunlight, air, these different ingredients, then these seeds, they will start to sprout. And they will not all be the same, but according to what seed is there within the ground, with proper conditions, then that particular seed will manifest. So in the same way, the living entity has an eternal relationship with the Supreme Lord. Jivaras Rupahoy Krishna Nitya Das. What specific type of Nitya Das, eternal servant, that is there and it is awoken by this process of submissive hearing and surrendering at the Lotus Feet of Sadhguru. Thank you. Yeah. To Shraddha by association of high class of Vaishnava with many Madhyamadikaris, associates, no harm. But he should be qualified, really in Madhyamadikar. <coughs> Renounce should be there. Oh, this attachment for worldly things should be there. And then, Shraddha comes. What is Shraddha? So much faith in the words of Shastra, like Gita, Bhagavad and others. So much faith in the words of Vaishnava and so much faith in the words of Krishna. This is external symptom of Shastra and internal desire to serve Krishna. This 
if you desire to serve Krishna, but no faith in the words of Vaishnava, Guru and Shastra, then that desire is not perfect. Or bogus. Bogus. Totally. If Shraddha will be there, then what to tell? If he had not even Guru, but he will have the words of Shastra, Krishna and Krishna. Oh, this faith, with this faith, hearing Hari Katha, or now he will wish that I must have a Guru. And that Guru will be one of our. If there is no full, strong faith, it may be that a bogus guru you can select. Bogus guru. This guru will not be perfect. You have some faith in Shastra. And you think that I must be happy. How happy? With worldly things. And for this, you are searching a Guru, Krishna will not help you. According to desire, he will be a Guru. And then you can choose Bogash Guru instead of high class of one of high So, this Shraddha, if real Guru is, he has not achieved. When it will be? After second Sadhusha. He will think a need of having a Guru, one of five. And then Ajahn will come with Shraddha. And then Offering yourself in the blood of feet of Guru, Sadguru. And by his, by his advice and guidance. If he will do bhajan, then or not, then it will be done. Otherwise, no. Never and never. So, bring bhajan and bhajan. Oh, this is Pratha bhajan. And morning bhajan, sadhana. Pitha nartha nevritti. Try to, try to give up on us. And for this he doing chanting with memory. Then it will be prata bhajan. And after this purvanta bhajan will come. And that is nishtha bhajan. Nishtha bhajan means? What a steadiness. No ruchi, no taste even. But we know that without bhajan we cannot be happy. So, anats are there for someone. No taste has come, not taste has come. But even steadiness, I will do bhajan, do or die. Then we like Dhruva. I may not product Ruva first. He has one day desire. Oh, but I must meditate Supreme Lord. Krishna sent messenger like Narada Rishi and go and taste. He tested. Oh, he was. Yeah. But it is strong. So, <coughs> now Krishna told that, oh, then you should give diksha and mantra and some process. And he gave. And very soon he took the son of Narayana. But, but
worldly desire was there. So he received the kingdom of for 36,000 years and Krishna then disappeared. He was living and living. What I did? I was searching some broken glasses and eyes. But I neglected. And then it was me. So, this is the thing. Hmm? With a nishtha. Oh, no test, but yet, steadiness. I must do. I must chant one vaccine. I wish. After that, I may. Take water or anything. No test. He sleeps. But he thinks that, oh, if I am sleeping, then I cannot do. So he hangs his sick heart anywhere. <laughs> he is doing <laughs> like this. So he does. Anyhow, this is all history. And Madhyan Bhajan, Madhyan means midday Bhajan, Ruchi Bhajan, Ruchi. If Ruchi comes, all the Not so much fear. Not. But Ruchi in Shadhan Bhajan, Shavanam, Kirtan, Shmaran, Ruchi. Taste comes. If there is taste, no idleness, no sleeping, not all this. And after some time, oh, Aparan Vajra in afternoon. That is Krishna Asakti come, Asakti to, first Asakti to, attachment to. And then, object of bhajan, Krishna comes. Oh, very good. Anatha, can, most of the Anatha is done. Some, some smell is there. All Anatha now sleeping. But if they will have chance, they may check very easy. Little chops. But very chop. Like her, like others. They may fall. Then Shayan Bhagan. Bhav Bhakti. Bhav Bhakti. What is Bhav Bhakti? I will define after. And then Pradosh. Some darkness come. And then vipralambha prem. Vipralambha means feeling separation. Vaidina dayadrana he madhura nath pada valokya se hridayam tada alo pakata daita dhamyati kim karam. Hold on, what should I do? I Nanda. Oh Nanda Nanda. Tom Hop plays, Hop plays, Hop plays. Waiting. Matsuana. And Gopi are feeling separation. Oh, he is feeling some separation. I am very far away from Krishna. I cannot. Survive my life without you. Like this people. This is separation. Vipralamba Prem. Now after Rati, Prem has come. How? Prem is come. And then Ratri Bhajan. Sambho Prem Bhajan. With love and affection. Sometimes 
इन भजन और कृष्ण कम्स और गोपीज कमिंग इन ऑल एस रोड एंड इज शेकिंग सी एवरीथिंग एंड इट इज ट्रू वन I'm starting Radha and Krishna like this, this, and Radha and Krishna are together, and we are serving this. So these are eight shots, but these shots are divided into three: Shadan Bhakti, Bhav Bhakti. Why three? Why not two? Sadhana bhakti and prema bhakti. Bhav bhakti is different from sadhana bhakti. And also different from prema bhakti. So we must accept this how Rupa Goswami has told this. In Sadhan Bhakti, so much anarchs are there. And he has feeling of pain and, and so many things. Oh, in this Sadhan. But in pain, nothing like so. He is unaware of all these things, worldly things. No pain, no pain, nothing. But in how there may be some coming, some obstacles, obstacles. But he overcomes. At the time of how it may be so many things will come. Obstacles for how shall but he not in prevention by any of that. But in premi that might not like when Sukhdev Goswami was in his second position. He never felt any worldly thing. So. This is half of the we must accept. Even sadhan has been divided into two by the bhakti and what is the bhakti? Can you? You? What is that? Bhakti? Bhakti bhakti is described as that we engage in the activities of hearing, speaking, associating with the devotees, but our faith is dominated by fear for the rules and instructions given in the Shastra. If I don't do this, oh, I will not attain bhakti, or so many reactions will come. So out of fear, he is following the process of Sadhana Bhakti. What he told? Krishna Bhajan Prabhu. From the process of hearing about Bhakti, one is awakened and follows out of a sense of duty or out of a sense of fear only. There is no strong attachment or natural uh, awakening of that dormant uh, shraddha. It's just a sense of duty or uh, obligation based on fear. If anyone has greed, Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Matik Kriyatam Utopijati Lakvati Tatra Lolnam Api Mulindamenika Janma Koti Sutatirna Bhakti can be attained by what? Sutkriti. 
and less and less sukriti. If it is so strong, then sadhu sangha. And by sadhu sangha, bhakti. Yes. But this sadhu sangha, oh, if a greed comes to serve Krishna, like Shaka, Shubhal Sakam Madhumanga, like Nandva Bajasu, like Rukhmanga, this greed is so, so valuable that even this supriti of lakhs and lakhs plus but who can it give this thing? Really it is very rare. I have read anywhere in the books of Swamiji, Sula Bhakti Vedanta, that if a man is like this, have come to this position. Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavitamati Kriyatam Kutoki Jadiva. And if he has attained this thing, then he is, oh what? Krishna Consciousness. He is the member of Krishna Consciousness. Otherwise, not. So if anyone is like this, then he is gone really. Otherwise not. And they can never be. Oh, oh, no. never. So, <coughs> if anyone has not greed, actually, and he follows the directions of Shastra, Without bhajan, oh, serving father, mother, wife, husband, children, and oh, uh, what? This bhakti, love of country, country the, this will not do anything. You will have to go, if you are not doing bhajan of Krishna, then you will have to go in help. So, I must do bhajan, but no taste, nothing is there. He is doing some hot sadhu, sangha. Then it is called vaidhi. Vaidhi bhajan. So, sadhan are vaidhi and raga raga. If he has greed, actual greed, bona fide greed, then that is called raga nuga bhajan. And without greed, money following the principles strictly with Shastra, that is Vyakta Vaidhima. Really, Shadhan is Raganga. This is power. Then, what is Shadhan? Kriti Shadhya. Bhaveta Shadhya Bhava. Shashadhana Dina. Nitya Siddha Shadhava Shadhava do you think that it is very hard subject? You want to hear Hari, uh, sweet pastimes or this? Very important subject. Important subject. But somehow someone are sleeping. No. So, I'm not sleeping, what to do? A medicine should be given. <laughs>
bhakti has been divided into two, kaidi bhakti and bhakti. So kati, what is sadhana? Or object of bhajan sadhana is anna ilasita sanyam dhyan karmat dhyanatam ankurle nitrishnanusiyam bhakti. This is object. Pure Uttama Bhakti. This is object. So, when we are going exercising this, then if our object to attain Bha, Rati, then it is called Sha. If we have no goal of sadhana and Bhaja, and you are doing oh Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare Hare chanting or oh, reading books also doing so many oh 64 limbs of bhakti you are doing but not sadhana not pure sadhana some blends of sadhana what I told you said there are Uh, you, first you were describing the two different uh, types of uh, bhakti, uh, uh, Raganuga bhakti and then sadhana bhakti, Vaidhi bhakti. And everyone explained that Vaidhi bhakti is out of fear and a duty to do the proper thing. And then uh, Raganuga bhakti, you actually have greed to do. And now you were starting to describe uh, the different, you know, the word, then, sadhana, object, and you have to, and you have to do your uh, sadhana with an object. You have to do the bhajan with some object, uh, with some goal. What goal? Oh, to attend money? No. <laughs> what you want? No. Hey, no. What? What should be our trip? Prema Bhakti. You know? Oh, so you have not heard. You have not heard. Try to listen more carefully. You master, can you? Beja master? Or why not? Beja master. What? Um, good what I told you? were explaining that if anyone is not answering, and who will answer, I will tell him to I will now call ladies devotees, and if they will answer correct, I will tell them, oh, you should twist him. <laughs> so be ready for this. You were saying if we are chanting, worshipping, doing so many things, 64 limbs, but if one does not have an object of rati, then then this is not called sadhana. Not your sadhana. Shab then of Kriti sadhya bhavet sadhya bhava. Oh, like it has been told in Anna Vilasita So, what Annabhilasita meaning? of all activities of the body, mind, word, and especially spiritual moods, for, which is faithfully performed for the pleasure of Krishna, which is not covered by fruit of activities, mental speculation, <coughs> and which is flowing like a fluid, unbroken current of honey. This is Uttam Bhakti. So, you are in the world. Shravanam Kirtan Vishnu Smarana. But you are criticizing Vaishnav. You don't obey your Guru. And you don't have love for Vaishnav. But you are chanting, gathering, doing all other things. What is this? This is Sarvashita Bhakti or not? Uh, 
it is if one is performing the Angas of Bhakti. Ah, there's six, nine, six, nine, six, nine, 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 six, nine, the nine Angas, six, four, nine, and being in Vrindavan also. Matura Vas. And giving Parikrama to Vrindavan, Govardhan. Even. Yeah. But he is then, not obeying Guru Vaishnava. No love for. <coughs> then, what is this? This is described by. Sarva Siddha Bhakti are not. Yes. But in Tamas mode. You know, Upare Bhakti Chinde Tarsu Ki Jai Pata. Jadi Vaishno Apara Uthe Hathi Mata Upare Bhakti Chinde Tarsu Ki Jai Pata. What is the meaning? What? What is it? Uproots means tree is now not living or his life finished. So if he is doing aparat or oh, his bhakti is not there. Aparute. Oh, ho gaya. Everything he is doing. Because Ankulli ne Krishna Srinanam Bhakti Muttama. It should be favorable of bhakti. Is it favorable for bhakti? No. All doing, he is doing. Then what is this? It has been uprooted. So no bhakti. It looks like bhakti. For whom? Those who are not pure devotees. For them he, it may be. They are abhya. For them? Oh, they think, may think, oh, he is doing sastam pranam 108 times at a place and with Govardhan Parikhain so many years. Oh, how he is quite lost. But he has really no faith in Guru Vaishnava and he is criticizing. Oh, what I am doing, they can, my Guru never did it, what I am doing. Swami, you never did it. Oh, Shastam Pranam 108. But I am doing, I am doing Nidhyaya Ekasi, but he cannot do. He never did. Oh, this. That Aparute. Bhakti is Aparute. So, favorable. If not favorable, no Bhakti at all. For taking your bad persons, it may be not. No, nothing, nothing, nothing wrong. Nothing. Oh, no life set. So Bhakti no Thakur and Shilarup Goswami has a wonderful, very, very, oh, very careful for us. Don't criticize even in dream. If in dream comes, then what do you should do? Go to Ganjay, go to Rita. Go to ocean and forgiveness should be there. Anutap will be there. Repentation will be there. Takati sadhya bhaveta sadhya bhava. You are empowering by your all senses and not doing apara. Even by your moods. How? To obtain how the Oh, then it can call Shadhan Bhakti. But you should know that how or praying is not a thing to be obtained by Shadhan. It is Nitya Siddha. What is bhav? We should know. For who? Which is the aim and object of shatham? Shatham. What is? What is that? Sutta shatta. Vishesh atma. Nitya siddhasya bhavasya. Prakriti. 
शुद्ध सप्त प्रेम विशेष आत्मा प्रेम सुजान सुशाम व्यवहार चित्तम माशिंड जिसकी सत्ता है और लाइक वी एग्जिस्ट फ्री एग्जिस्ट This house exists. The body of Krishna, or anything of Guru Bandhava, by whom, or Shatta. Shatta is material Shatta and spiritual transcendental Shatta. What is Shatta? Is only wish. Pratiti and something not pratiti. And Shuddha Sattva, there are two kinds of Shuddha Sattva. In man, the associates of eternal associates of Krishna. And in them, Sharmi mood, transcendental Sharmi mood of Krishna is there. Oh, this is called Shuddha Shakti. No? Where it is? Nitya Shiddha in the associates of eternal associates of In Mother Jasuda, in Subhal Siddha, in Gopas, Shuddha Shakti. And by following them, practicing, by the method process told by Rupa Goswami or oh, it will come here where Nitya Siddha Bhav here also to Nitya Siddha Bhav there also and here where in the transcendental uh, constitution of Shakti also we all have somebody spiritual matter we have yeah. and that is covered with the oh Maya. Now we are thinking that we are this physical matter and related things all oh, it is not. But this is not. Krishna in mind and his eternal suffering. This is the so any of the kinds of uh, dasya, shakha, asana, and mari. Any of these, oh, we have some body like this. If you read the uh, book of Srila Bhakti Dhanur Thakur, they will have mine also. Mahaprabhu, Sikshastra. In first slow, he has told very strong. Like Krishna, he has body, transcendental body, Satchidam. And Jiva is also like this, very beautiful, sweet, all these things. But now covered. Only potency is there. And like he gave an example that there are various kinds of seeds and you can in the same soil on the bank of Ganges and water is same water or the same sun is giving it life everything is doing and same gardener plants and supports and medicine but what will be only what the seed has potency, only that will come. Tamarind like tamarind, mango like mango, if the seed is of other thing, 
नीम ट्री और जैकफ्रूट मानी दे दी सो ऑल्सो लाइक एन एग्जाम्पल यू नो इन सी पर At that time, if in the constellation of Swati Nakshatra, water fall in the same water, if it will come in banana tree, it will be camphor. If it will come in the elephant pool, then it will be vegetable. If it comes pool, guru chan, then and. Why? Why? So, the potency is in water or in the the object? In both. Without the help of that rain, they cannot do it. But it will come. What is the in the potency? So. Shatter maybe four thousand and so on. But he he follows anyone. Ragantnik Jan, where Rag is in their Atma to serve Krishna, they are certain. And if any shatter falls in them, strictly in the process of root Krishna, then Nitya Siddha Bhav in Shatter. They are. Oh, it will manifest. Understand? Can you define why? You are writing also. Try. Try. Do not. Nitya siddhasya bhavasya prakatam eriti shadya. Who will? Who will do? <laughs> you? I can, I can try. Right. Fools rushing where angels first to tread. So you were describing. You were describing that uh, depending on the nature of the object where the rain is falling, uh, different. Same rain. Same rain, but because different seeds, here you get mango, here you get jackfruit, here you get neem. And then you also described that during a certain nakshatra, swati nakshatra, the rain is coming, but if it falls on an elephant, it produces one elephant pearl. And if it uh, falls on oyster pearl, if it falls on banana leaf, it and camphor if it falls on deer musk. So depending on the object, uh, different I don't know, results. results will manifest. And it is important to have both because without the rain, okay. can, nothing can be manifested. And if that no, nothing in there, there. oh, a rain cannot do anything. So both are needed. So nitya siddha bhava both here also there. Yeah. And when they will meet together, then oh, the, our nitya siddha bhava will come. Try to digest up till now, uh, up to this point, and we will discuss tomorrow. Very important. Good. Hare Krishna.